everyone, it's Anna. I hope you guys are doing great. Come on in, sit down and stay a while. I want to share Dollar Tree haul with you. Um, maybe you can find some of these goodies for yourself and enjoy if you're interested and we'll just get started. No particular order here. Um, I might be late to the game on these, but these are like some really big uh, little sh shelf drawers for um, cubing shelf units. This is the biggest size I've ever seen. 10.5 inch by 11 inch by 10.5 inch. So um, they come in lots of colors and these fit perfectly in the cubing shelf units. Like they're the regular standard size and they work great. They are sturdy. I got like 15 of them <laughs> or so. Mom got some to use and they're by Closet Essentials. It says heavier weight, um, perfect for organizing books, toys, clothing, and more. So Super happy to have these. Um, they do have several colors, some solid, like navy blue, black, khaki, and then they had like this print, and I went for the black and gray because that's what I could get the most colors of. I did get some of the blue in this. It's the same pattern, but in a blue, like a medium blue shade. So very happy to have these. I'm probably late to the game on those, but I am so happy to have those. Let's see, we got some matches. These. They didn't have big packs for a long time in our area, so got these for $1.25. This is a name brand diamond green light. Um, strike on box matches 300 count. Pretty good price, I think. So I've got a few boxes of those to have on hand. They take a long time for us to go through. And then we're gonna do like a little costume party for Halloween. And I thought I would be a hula girl. <laughs> Um, and I would make myself maybe a grass skirt out of this green tablecloth and, you know, wear a shirt and some pants or a shirt and a skirt and put this on as my little, uh, grass skirt and I have a lay from Dollar Tree and I thought that'd be fun. Mom, um, is going to be Stitch from Lilo and Stitch. She has a Stitch shirt and some little Stitch ears like a headband. So, um, that's kind of funny. We're going to kind of match. That'll be fun. Um... So we're really casual with it, you know, just make your own cute little quick costume if you want. And then let's see, I have been seeing people haul these and I was so glad I finally found one. I love to crochet and I've been wanting to learn how to do the emigurumi. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but it's crochet that you can stuff and make into like little plushies, if you will. So I got the dog, of course. They had a unicorn and a couple teddies, but I went for the doggy because... I love animals and the doggy, so I um, thought I would love to try this. Um, let's see, it says comes with plastic needle, yarn, stuffing, crochet hook, plastic beads, instruction sheet. So it's everything you need for this. For $1.25, I think is great. And you can use the pattern over and over again if you like it. So very happy to have that. Now for some activity books. This is a Halloween one. Look at the cute little cat. Uh, she's got her little hat on on the pumpkin. Isn't that cute? Just some good old coloring pages. Like, I remember stuff like this as a kid and loving it. Here's a holiday one for Christmas. Look at that pretty uh, food theme on the front. And then that can be a card on the back. Isn't that nice? You can cut that out. Lots of pages. Look at that fun little penguin. That is so cute. This is a necessity for... Anyone that's a fan of How the Grinch Stole Christmas, um, I'm definitely one of those. I love How the Grinch Stole Christmas with Christmas <laughs> with Jim Carrey and the original. Look at this. This is so neat. Love this. So, love that. How many times can I say I love it? Um, we have a Minnie Mouse coloring book. Isn't she cute? And on the back, you can um, have a little memory game to keep. That's fun. I like how they... Um, even use the back for stuff. So that's great. Um, just turn that random page. Isn't that cool? That is so neat. Here's another Halloween one. Costume cuties. You know, I love the cat and dog. So I had to get it, obviously. Um, lots of cute little things to color. Halloween and Sesame Street. I love Cookie Monster. He's dressed like a cookie jar. And look, he's got cookies instead of candy. <laughs> and then we have Elmo as a wizard. Isn't that so cute? So, so funny. Love that. And then we have SpongeBob SquarePants. 
I think that's so cute. Um, look at Patrick there, and look at him on look at him on the back. <laughs> In true Patrick fashion. And there you get your SpongeBob themed pages. Really fun. And then I got a pack of Jot Activity permanent markers, eight pieces. Um, never. I don't think I've used this these before specifically i might have had something permanent marker ish by jot before but i um, happy to have those just as something easy to use if you need you know something like that we have some candy i called these before but i everybody really liked them so um we went through that one bag really fast and this is the mix ins 35 pieces as well it says over 35 pieces sweet and sours and it's got variety so this is a sour version of the purple bag I got before. Got like six bags, so three of each. Three green and three purple. Here's the original bag. Really like that. The one bag we had before um, didn't have, I think it's a juicy fruit chews. So our bag happened to not have those, but maybe we can have some this time. So that'd be exciting. They're really tasty. Are they the best candy in the world? No, but definitely good and good enough to buy again, as you see. <laughs> Let's see. I don't know where to go next. We have Jot Pencil Sharpener, six count. I thought that was nice. Good to have for like colored pencils. Oh, here's more candy. I got a little pack of uh, strawberry Twizzlers. I like strawberry better than cherry uh, for my own self. And so that's what I pick. <laughs> And let's see. Oh, I couldn't find this the last video I did, but this was the Christmas house microfiber snowflake cloth. Isn't that pretty? That is so beautiful. Um, ink dual fix, two colors and one 3D effect. I thought these were cool. I've never seen these in Walmart. Maybe not this brand, but something kind of like this um, years ago. Thought it was cool and I thought it'd be cool for doing word search. So we'll see, or just doodling, who knows. And, um, so I'm going to do kind of like Halloween favors slash candy bags for everybody. And I thought I'd put like a fun little silly toy <laughs> for everybody for the little party. And, um, I saw these. It's by the brand Just Pretending. It says Learn, Grow, Play for three years and up. It says collapsible LED sword. Um, uses two 1.5 volt AAA battery probably should get some batteries. I think I might still have some. Um, but I thought my husband and my brother would really get a kick out of these. <laughs> uh, so the blue one will be for my brother and the green one will be for hubby. So I think they'll probably, probably like those. <laughs> and let's see, we have the Assured brand three blade, triple blade razors. So stainless steel blades, lubricating strip, rubber grip, and um, they, they're a pivot head, I believe. I, I do like to get a head that pivots for my razors. Five count for $1.25 isn't too bad, so I just got some to have on hand. And um, my big Tresemme hairspray is about to run out. That thing has been with me, I don't know how long, over, might be a year and a half now. <laughs> I don't use a lot of hairspray and I don't use it every day, so, um, but I'm almost out of hairspray. So I got, uh, I, when I saw the Salon Selectives hairspray, I thought I'd give it a try. I got the Anti-Humidity Extra Hold Volumizing Spray, and this says Stay Put. It says Weightless Amplify Volume All Day Hold. Four ounces. And apparently, um, if you watch Nani's Life here on um, YouTube, she does Dollar Tree videos. She's great. Um... She said that salon selectives used to be sold in salons like way back in the day, maybe in the 80s or something like that. Um, and I thought that was really cool. She speaks really highly of their shampoo and conditioner, which I have in my bag stock. I have not tried yet from Dollar Tree and um, I need to pull that out. And so I thought I'd give the hairspray a go. It says this one is called Sit Still Hair Plumping Anti-Humidity Non-Sticky Formula Brushable Control. So thought that'd be nice to try those. And with the prices of everything going up, why not try something like that there? Um, let's see. 
And this, I was on the hunt. These two things I was on the hunt for when we went out. Mom and I went to Dollar Tree, um, you know, of the last few times. I hauled this face wash um, some time ago now. And I just started using it this month. And I'm almost out of it. And I really, really love it. It's great for uh, after I use my cleansing balm and then using this to rinse that off. And then I go in with an acne cleanser behind it. This is so gentle. It's by Global Beauty Care, two fluid ounces. Um, so smooth and lift collagen facial cleanser with peptides, hi peptides <laughs> hyaluronic acid, and squalene. I'm really glad to have this. And I found seven bottles over the like three places we went. So I'm all stocked up on face wash for a long time and really, really love this. Um, it is not drying to my skin at all. I do have an oily skin type, but it is not drying at all. Really, really love this. Oh, I hope they keep it around because I'm going to keep buying it. <laughs> and, you know, with everything going up, you know, I'm happy to try to find alternatives that are cheaper and just love it. And I remember if you've really been with me, um, I used to use the White Rain Face Wash. It was just a plain no frills face wash. And I bought like 12 of them or something at Dollar Tree when they had them way back in the day. And then I got the Smooth and Lift Collagen Skin Cream. Um, it says with hyaluronic acid and squalene and peptides. 1.7 fluid ounce. That is the typical size you're going to find most of your face creams in. It says fragrance free, sulfate free, phthalate free, silicone free. Not tested on animals, not comedogenic. Great. So haven't tried this yet, but I have high hopes. I bought like six of those too. I found whatever I could find I would get. So um i got them here's another i'm not going to bore you showing you all the doubles um let's see i found oh let's let's do this it says ponds clear solutions facial foam i have not seen this and i haven't seen my haul it but ponds is a good brand it's old school um 1.7 fluid ounces says fights 10 oil problems and uh that'd be cool to try to use i don't see any active ingredients in here um, they list myristic acid. I'm not sure what that is. If you look at the back, there's no like active ingredient list. Um, just thought I'd give it a try and see what I thought. Cute little container. And then let's see, this is by Ioni. Um, the face highlight brighten and shine, soft texture, long lasting. And this is called Cloud Nine. What a cute name for that. Pretty, pretty highlight. I have a bunch of like highlighters and blushes from this now and um, didn't have that one so I wanted to try it. And um, I have a bunch of these too, the LA Colors Powder Blush and this is Berry Plum. I don't believe I have this shade yet. Really pretty plummy color. Happy to have that. And I found another little, one of these little uh, juncture crossbody bags. It's got butterflies on it, so pretty. Love that. Almost done, guys. Thanks for sticking with me. <laughs> uh, let's see. Hubby likes to do a lot of crafts, as do I. And, um, sorry, just getting a little organized <laughs> Organized here. Um, I found this in the, like, tool section. This is the Frost King brand lightweight drop cloth, 9 foot by 12 foot. Sometimes you just need that kind of stuff when you're working on anything. And look at this, this little funny guy here. It looks like Frosty the Snowman. <laughs> Love that. So I think hubby will enjoy that. And I feel like I've heard Dr. Dre here on YouTube. She's a dermatologist here in the States, um, based in Texas. I think she's talked about the extra care diabetics hydrating lotion being something that might be good for people to try, you know, as a Dollar Tree product. It says hydrates and soothes, uh, fra uh, fragrance free 7.5 ounces. So I'm glad to get to try that. And you don't have to be diabetic to use stuff like this. Um, diabetics just have to really take good care of their skin because of their impaired healing and anyway I can use this so I'm excited to get to try that I got um I saw this new section of or like line of LA Colors yeah LA Colors makeup and so they had nude glam lipstick this is rich creamy color moisturizing formula in the shade passion really pretty they had lots of different colors and that pink packaging is kind of cute and let's see this is a liquid blush it says two cheeky blush and allure 
they had several colors. I decided to choose this one. Looks like a lip gloss too. <laughs> and then this is uh, some liquid eyeshadow in Greek Goddess. This is like a kind of slightly yellowy gold, very pale gold. And this one is in uh, Sugar Liquid Eyeshadow. It's like a pinky, champagne -y color. And then the last liquid eyeshadow I got, this is more yellowy, um, called Toasty. They have lip gloss, lip balm, lip balm in a squeezy tube, super cute. And let's see, I got an LA Colors Lip Crayon in Trill. Thought that'd be fun to try. Kind of a medium mauvey color. And then this is the pearly white shade um, shimmer eyeliner. So I'll probably use this as an eyeshadow base. So excited to have that. Another lotion thing. I got a couple of these to try. The Vaseline All Purpose um, Cream. It says glycerin and vitamin E with Vaseline jelly for soft and healthy skin, intensive care. Uh, rough elbows, dry knees, cracked heels, dry hands. I guess you just use it anywhere like that. Very happy to have that. Maybe I can show you what the bottle looks like. Great for throwing in your backpack. Great. So, Vaseline is a name brand. Um, just has a very regular, non like unassuming, clean scent. It's not like shower clean. Just smells kind of like, I guess Vaseline products can kind of smell sometimes, but not chocolatey. That was really random to describe that scent. <laughs> okay. And then some of my favorite things I found, I found the um, cute tube socks that are like food themed. I love it. I've seen people um, haul these. Seems like people up north really have these. Um, and these are so cute. I found the Kool-Aid Man. Who are these by? It says crew, one pair, made in China. Socks, fits men, shoe size, six through 12. These are so fun. These would be so cute to put into a stocking stuffer or something. But Kool-Aid Man is my jam. He is so funny. We have Mountain Dew. Oh my gosh, Mom got some of these too. Mountain Dew. Cup of Noodles. Our cup noodles is so funny. Frosted Flakes. They have his nose the right color. It's blue. So cute. You know, my food theme loving heart is screaming. <laughs> Like when I see these Chips Ahoy is so cute. Cookie flavor. Yes. And then who loves Cheez-Its? Yummy, yummy. Sour Patch Kids. They really, these look so great and they feel really soft. Obviously I haven't tried them on yet, but um, they're going to go straight in the wash. What is this? Pop-Tarts. Mm, so cute. Old Bay seasoning. Isn't that funny? <laughs> and I know some people, you know, they collect socks. This would be so neat for a sock collector. We have Swedish Fish. I think my mom found an Oreo pair somewhere. That was fun. Fruit Loops. Yes. Love it. And then the last one, Kraft Macaroni and Cheese. These are so fun. So, there we go. Almost done here. Last two things are just some coasters. These are obviously left over probably from uh, summer or something like that. Uh, these look like, is it Monstera? Monstrea? Monstera? I'm not sure what kind of leaf, but a tropical leaf. It says coaster, but it's got holes in them. And I guess you could use them as like little ornaments too for whatever reason. And then I love a citrus theme and fruit theme. And this just says decor. Um, I don't know if you just like lay it out on the table, but it's got lemons, oranges, and watermelon. So cute. So that's it. I hope everybody enjoyed. Um, please let me know if you found any really cool items you'd like to share. And um, I hope to see you soon. I want to work on some different ideas, maybe including Bath and Body Works, maybe a Project Use It Up or something like that. Um, have an empties video coming up soon, which I love those. So I want to try to get a little bit more creative and diversify the kind of content I want to make uh, for you guys. And thanks for sticking with me. I'll see you again soon. Bye.